Could we get rid of HIV with just one single treatment? Scientists think they may have found a way. So let's talk about this amazing discovery that could change millions of lives. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. Today we're talking about something that's making waves in the medical world, using CRISPR to potentially cure HIV. Now, I know that might sound like a bunch of scientific mumbo jumbo, but don't worry, I'm going to break it all down for you in simple terms. We look at why HIV is so hard to cure and how this new treatment called EBT101 might be a game changer. So let's get started. First, let's talk about HIV. According to United Nations, about 39 million people were living with HIV in 2022. And sadly, around 600 30,000 people died from AIDS-related illnesses that year. HIV is tricky because it attacks the very cells in our body that are supposed to protect us from diseases. Then it hides inside our cells, making it really hard to get rid of completely. Right now, the main treatment for HIV is a combination of drugs that stop the virus from spreading in the body. These drugs, called antiretroviral therapy, have been a huge help. They allow people with HIV to live long and healthy lives and reduce the chance of spreading the virus. But here's the catch. People have to take these drugs every day for the rest of their lives. They don't actually cure HIV, they just keep it under control. So what is this CRISPR thing that we keep hearing about? Imagine your DNA is like a really long string of beads. CRISPR is like a pair of magic scissors that can snip out specific beads without touching the others. It's so precise that scientists can use it to cut out tiny bits of DNA they don't want or even add new bits. Think of it like this. If your DNA had a typo, CRISPR could cut out just that wrong letter and put in a right one. It's letting scientists edit your DNA in ways they could never before. Pretty cool, right? So some clever scientists thought, hey, wait a minute. What if we could use CRISPR to cut out the HIV DNA that's hiding in people's cells? And that's exactly what they're trying to do with a new treatment called EBT101. EBT101 uses CRISPR to target and remove the HIV DNA that's hiding in the body's cells. The cool thing is, it's designed to do this in just one dose. Imagine one treatment that could potentially cure HIV. But hold your horses, we're not there yet. Right now, EBT101 is being tested in early clinical trials. This is where they carefully test new treatments on a small group of people to make sure they're safe and effective. The good news is, so far, EBT101 seems to be safe. They've tried it on three people and none of them have had any bad reactions. But remember, this is just the beginning. We still don't know if it actually cures HIV in humans. There are a few challenges to overcome. First, they need to make sure CRISPR only cuts the HIV DNA and doesn't accidentally cut other important parts of our DNA. They also need to see if one dose is enough to get rid of all the hiding HIV virus in the body. So what's next for EBT101? The researchers are going to test it on more people and at different doses. Then comes the big test. They'll have people stop taking their regular HIV medication to see if the virus comes back. This is a bit risky, but it's the only way to know if EBT101 really works. If all goes well, the people in the trial will be watched closely for 15 years to make sure there are no long-term side effects. It's a long process, but it's necessary to make sure the treatment is safe and effective. While we're excited about the potential of CRISPR and EBT101 to cure HIV, it's important to remember that we're still in early stages. There's a lot more work to be done before we can say for sure whether this will be the HIV cure we've all been hoping for. But here's the amazing thing, we're making progress. Scientists are working hard every day to find new new ways to fight HIV and other diseases. And who knows, maybe someday soon we'll be able to say that CRISPR helped cure HIV. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the world of HIV treatment and gene editing. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay safe folks.